What's up, Samurai? We are back in for a Terravit, and before we hop into Warrior of Hope, uh, I've actually been saving this up for a while because I wanted to experience it with you guys. We've got a lot of points we can claim that we haven't claimed since the last few episodes. So, bada bing, bada boom. We should be able to get a couple different cosmetics, maybe just the one. Oh. Just the one. Wow. Okay. Uh, I can show you these though, because I've slowly been unlocking them. I just didn't really feel like wearing them, but I guess I should, right? Like just in the videos. Um, those are under, is it body details? No, body details does have a backpack, which we can recolor. And it's got this cool coat, but uh, that's 50 of the real life currency. You can see there are some things though, like it looks like level nine will get shoulder pads and whatever else, right? Um, but there's also going to end up being some effects, which we showed this off. Uh, on our last account, we had a different effect. This time we don't have that. No, don't save the skin. Where is it? Uh, face? No. Body. Face details. There it is. So we actually got this early on, which is like a flower hat. We got this early on, which is pretty cool, honestly. Maybe I'll wear that today. And then we got this today. Actually, that looks hilarious. Oh, right, I've been using the earrings instead just because, yeah. I mean, I guess we could wear this just because it looks so stupid. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be like maybe a brownish color. Oh my God, why is it so neon? Good Lord. <laughs> it's so weird. That's so strange. All right, let's just not do that. And instead, purple mask? That doesn't look super crazy neon and weird. There we go. Actually, you know what? Wait. Majora mask color, yellow. No, I'll just I'll just do the crazy purple for now. Whatever, either way, we'll, we'll wear that for today's episode just because why not? Also, you guys wanted this, right? Yeah, it's like the good old days when we were doing Trove stuff. Oh God, I miss Trove. Uh, I'm kidding. Um, as I've mentioned before, it's not like I quit Trove or anything in place of this game. It's just this is the new hot thing. I'm really enjoying it. And on top of that, uh, I've been having these videos go out while I'm on my vacation. So pretty much just assume that I'm still like on my trip or at least I'm still uploading stockpiled footage for you guys. I, I, until I end up having the video where I definitively say, hey, I'm back. <laughs> kind of thing. All right, let's see what the Berenstein Bear wants. Welcome, bro. What is this? A strange crafting table? Tell me all about it. Okay, I explained a different crafting table to him. I swear to God, it makes it so that he has them available in his shop eventually or something. I don't know. This is a cooking table. May may is bear bear bear. You can make apples with lots of honey. Thank you for telling me. I'll add it to the crafting table production repertoire soon. I'll see you in blah, blah, blah. Okay. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're tackling the dungeon. So I'm I'm genuinely really excited to see where this goes because I, I want to see, I want to see like a, an area where we can dig deep into, you know? All right, close our eyes and believe. Also, I know that my teeth and my face sometimes disappear because uh, my green screen hates the uh, the grass in this game. Oh my God. Uh, okay, is this a respawn location? What is this? There's a small goddess statue. Would you like to say a prayer? Yes, please. What is this doing? <laughs> what did that do? Maybe that set our spawn point or something. You are so annoying, you stupid bees, shut up. I just, sorry, I wanna get a good look at this dungeon here. Oh my dear God. Well, this is massive. Okay. Where even am I right now? I wanna get a good shot of it, but it's so freaking big. Well. Get out of the way. I guess let's do it. Now, this will be interesting because we'll get to see are there different mechanics in the dungeon? Is it just killing things? You know, like, is this going to be like a Zelda dungeon? 
Or is it just go in and fight like a crap ton of enemies? Which I am also okay with, because the combat is wildly fun. Even if a bit easy. Alright, weirdo. Wait, are you the boss already? No, surely not. No, there's more things around. Hello. Human! Human! Don't let the human go to the second floor! Ah! Okay, he's like the quest boss or something. Who actually has a super televised attack. That's great. Very cool. Oh, is he gonna explode? No, okay. Defeated the underlings. Search for the room where Idra is. Okay, he didn't want me to go to the second floor, which I can easily just run up to. This dungeon's not as big as I thought it was, because that's already the edge, actually. I'm just trying to take a peek and see if there was treasure. Come here, night bat. They're giving a lot of money, though. This dungeon may be over a lot faster than I assume. I thought it was going to end up being like a whole episode's worth of content. Which, I mean, we might just make this a shorter episode. We'll see. I'll see how I'm feeling. Ooh, is that a diamond axe? Ice edge? No, that's unique. An axe embedded with crystals spilled from an ice dragon. The outpouring of cold air occasionally freezes enemies. Whoa. Goodbye, Scythe weapon. Hello, Epic Ice Axe. Holy crap. That looks so dope. Hey, excuse me. I was getting a call from the wife. Die! Oh my god. It's actually got VFX too. Bro, that's so freaking cool. I love this game so much, dude. Oh my god. This one shot's pottery too. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in the middle of a cutscene. There's a ladder that seems to be able to climb. Don't you attack me in the cutscene, you scum. Man, this thing does damage. Holy crap. Okay. Do I gotta like light the torches or anything cool? The magnet is so useful. There's so much money in here. Hiya! Plunging attack. Give me all the goodies. Oh my god, we're getting so much mun muns. So I could break this open. I guess we kind of have to, right? Because I see that treasure at the end there. The thing is, this axe will give us good uh, good range as well. Oh, speaking of range, is that that same one? Spear of the World Tree. Yep, already had one of those. I think the first one we had was already a plus three. So that, hello. That means that we could actually make it a plus six right now, which would be pretty nutty when you think about it. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these items after, but that's okay. All right, what about over here? Is this anything? Okay, they're not always a one hit. Oh, it's just, okay, I guess just a shortcut out. I don't know, I mean, frankly speaking, we probably could have cheesed this dungeon. I don't want to, but we could have very easily just dug our way straight up to the boss room. Which is cool that the game gives us that freedom. You know, instead of uh, so many other games like this, we'll just be like, oh yeah, if you wanna, you can't dig to the boss because there's bedrock or something. Which makes more sense as far as progression is concerned. But I always like when they have the option of just laying you go ham, you know? All right, come here. Dude, I'm not even gonna get to do the freeze attack on any enemies, you wanna know why? Because they're all dying in one hit because this thing's so freaking powerful. Like, what the heck? Okay, let me also, uh, yeah, let me get reacquainted with my hot bar here. Delicious cabbages. Okay, is this where the boss is? Whoa. Oh, they actually expected us to go onto the roof. Okay, that didn't get translated. Unfortunately, the AI seemed like it didn't work for that. I'm assuming, like, it pointed me up to the roof. Wait, am I going to fight this boss on the roof? That would actually be so freaking cool. There's a question mark block there. I don't know what that is. And more treasure. Hey, stupid. This feels dangerous. Whoa. Dude, this is giving me such like... One of my favorite bosses in a video game is... um. There's a, a, a game called Mystical Ninja starring Gomon. That's the title. 
It's on Nintendo 64, one of my all-time favorite games. Big, big bucket list game that I want to play on the channel one day. Airy Shoes. Does that give me a double jump? Slows down fall speed and makes you immune to fall damage. Wow. Okay. How slow? A lot slower. That immune to fall damage is huge. Anyways, there's one moment in the game where you are on a gigantic, like, flying dragon, and it's like this. And then you're, like, fighting enemies, and then you fight a boss and stuff. And I'm just thinking, like, dude, I want someone to create, like, a gigantic dragon dungeon that's in the sky. Even if it's static, I don't care. That would just be so freaking cool. I sense a strong monster presence down this hole. <gasps> dude, this is so freaking cool! Okay, I want to kill, uh, I want to kill the Yara stuff first. Also, these enemies are hurting me really bad. Like, it makes me scared of, uh, what the boss will potentially do to me. Because he could potentially just annihilate me, right? Okay, let's see. Can I get anything up there? No? Okay. This might go horribly wrong. Oh, there is secrets, though. I keep forgetting we have no fall damage now. Which is beautiful. Okay, this was another way in, I guess, that I just didn't happen to notice. Or, oh, it's just sealed because they just probably reverse copy and pasted the dungeon and didn't notice that they left that open. Okay. Gotta be careful because these enemies, like, actually keep spawning. Which means we can just sit in AFK farm in area, but hey, whatever. Okay, stepping to the side seems to avoid that guy. All right. Oh, here we go. I gotta watch my health, like, really badly. I know that was the boss. I saw him down there, okay? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh, there he is, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, there's so much loot in here. All right, I want to use this. I mean, I use my boomerang as well just because it's a cool weapon. All right, bro. You just going to attack me or are you going to talk to me first? Oh, I got to talk to him. Okay. Whoa. Uh-oh. A human coming this far. What are my underlings doing? I love to watch my underlings in a human fight. As a reward for coming this far, I will fight you myself. Okay. That's not good. Alright, boomerang time. Okay, the boomerangs seem to, like, just be... He's immune. Oh, he's gonna dash to me or something. He's dashing all over the place. What the heck? Okay. So, I'm guessing we gotta destroy these in order to damage him. Or something? Oh god, I'm getting on the wall for a second. Like, look at him go! He's going nuts, dude. Okay, just side strafe him. He's got so much freaking health, dude. Okay. No, don't you do it. Okay, this sword's way better than the axe. The axe is cool, don't get me wrong. Okay, it's not like super intensive. It's not like an Elden Ring boss or anything, but is that when he summons the swords? Yeah, he summoned the swords again. Okay, deal with the ads. Oh, he could have attacked me through the wall, bro. Nope, not today, sucker. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, he's doing it again. My stamina is so low. Woo! Oh, don't dash towards me. Maybe he just goes back and forth like an idiot. Okay, thank God. What? Bro, oh, I see. That was probably like a fail safe. Oh, I still got stunned anyways. Oh, what the heck? When did that hit me? Yeah, I think it's- I think he's doing, like, a fail-safe attack. Like, he keeps getting caught in the corner, and the game is, like, teleporting him out. I think. Hey, bro, come here. 
I want to actually damage you, okay? Okay, he doesn't hurt me that bad. I could probably just tank his attacks, honestly. But it's interesting how the game gave us the uh, shock absorption item. And he uh, conveniently is using the shock spell. Oh my god, easy mode. Easy mode, bro. You're a joke. You're an absolute joke. Come here. Yeah. All right, dude. That was the first boss down in this world. That was pretty cool. He actually had mechanics. Let's report to the goddess. Yeah, after I loot the treasure, thank you very much. I'm kind of surprised maybe the goddess will give us something like really important. Because I'm wondering, uh, like, where's where's my big boy treasure for completing the dungeon, you know? I mean, we did get this axe, so I can't complain. But it wasn't, like, from the boss, you know what I mean? I'm gonna desecrate his tomb. Copper ore. Noise? You think there's a secret? Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> it's faster than using the axe. All right. Uh, maybe the goddess will give us something? I hope she does. God, I love this game. I hope, I, I, I gotta say, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I don't ask very often, but I'd appreciate if you would like the video. And if you've been watching this far in, why haven't you subscribed yet, okay? Like, I'm sorry, I don't normally plug that stuff just because I know it can be annoying, but so help me. This game is just so freaking cool and I'm having such a good time. And I just, I just hope you guys are too. I mean, you guys, I'm certain, I am certain you've gotten much, much further than me already. That's kind of what happens when I do these Let's Plays is, uh, you know, I, I just have the adventure myself and then you guys are playing it yourselves as well and you get like way further than me. And I mean, that's cool and everything, I get it. But I'm, I'm just saying like, I'm not really too worried. I'm just, I'm just having, it's, it's just about the adventure and having fun. Now, uh, before we end up actually going, whoa. Before we end up going to the goddess, I noticed that there's this town over here. I think the game was trying to show me this was here because we don't have a fast travel point over here. Oh, this might be a destroyed town, actually. Which, hey, I mean, I'll still get it. Just because that's always going to be good. I am not used to the slow fall. That's like a game changer. Like, genuinely. Okay. Uh, yeah, there could be all this treasure here, but that's okay. Let's just take a peek inside the houses really quick. Oh, God. Okay, that's the advantage of this axe, is it can sure pack a wall up to a lot of enemies, not just one. Like, it's got a lot more reach to it. Bro, get out of there. I guess these frogs are evil. I'm just trying to destroy this. I guess it's not strong enough to destroy the big ones. I gotta use my pickaxe. All right, the frog's down there, so we'll just leave him to his vices. Or, oh, I could throw some bombs at him just for funsies. Yeah, why not? Where are you at, Frogman? Merc, come back here. Okay, that didn't even freeze him, as was advertised. Bad Frog! Monsters killed. Thank you very much. Thank you! Alright, what do I want? I want more stamina, because I'm actually noticing when I'm climbing, and not like not climbing on ladders and stuff. It's it's uh, my stamina sucks. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, also, I'm thinking that we'll probably just sell these grenades and junk because, frankly speaking, they're just not really they're not doing it for me. And it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, why would I use this in battle? Also, that's another thing we gotta remember, guys. Even though it might seem like busy work where we're just destroying all these side things, we are slowly working on our mastery or our account XP. 
by uh, getting all of these things, like destroying like 10 billion objects or whatever else I'm sure there's they've got going, you know? Treasure, let's get it. That sword might be actually stronger than our ninja sword now because we've got quite a few of them. Uh, I'll have to make sure that I combine them and see. Also, I'm curious if there is an actual like town nearby. Because I really want to get a fast travel point up here. Not that I would ever like refarm this area. Because I don't think... Oh, you know what would be great in this game? I just realized it didn't have it. But you know what would be awesome? If we could refight the bosses and they would either get more difficult uh, based on like their scaling. Or if you would like, maybe I would get like a rare item specifically from him. So the incentive of refighting him over and over would be that we could level up his gear. That would just be like so cool, you know? Okay, let's fly up. See if there's a town nearby that we can take advantage of. There's one. Because we're not going to be up here like for a long time. If ever again. Uh, there is another town on the left there. I want to see if that one actually has. What the? Oh, this place is haunted. Oh, they're not evil. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's get this quest here. I apologize for surprising you. This village has been destroyed. One day the monsters wandered into the village. It seems they fled from the castle and they don't hold any hostile towards us. However, the travelers started to avoid this village. So I thought about giving them helpful items for travelers who visit. Could you bring one antidote? I don't know if I have one of those. Please, brave hero, could you bring an antidote? Okay, we'll have to do that in our time then. Because I don't know what it takes to craft an antidote. I haven't actually like messed with that kind of stuff anytime at all. But. Whoa, I want to get this. Again, if we can go into that village. What is that? That's a new item. Flippers. Oh. <gasps> Like Zelda, swimming speed increases without slowing down in shallow water. 50% swim speed. That's so cool, dude. Oh my God. I'm like so like surprised by like the littlest things. <laughs> All you guys are like, what the heck? Why is that happy? Why does that make him happy? Because it reminds me of the flippers in uh, A Link to the Past, which is uh, one of the best Zelda games ever, even though it's a Super Nintendo one. Was that treasure up the top? I saw something up there. What is this? What is that? Whoa. Unholy blade. What the heck? Whoa. Infused with ancient forging technique, the overflowing flame incinerates enemies. I'm going to wear that because that's a fire sword. Oh my god, that actually looks so freaking cool. I guess it's a chance of applying the fire. Maybe it's not a very good weapon. Oh my god, the lag. <laughs> okay, let's ignore that. And then, oh, you know what? Let's take advantage of this, because otherwise we never will. I just want to see what the faster swimming is like. Yeah, it's better. It's too bad the flippers didn't go on my character. That would just be really cool. But there's no real need for that, unfortunately. Also, this is still better. It's faster. It does more damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here's an actual statue. Of a village I already grabbed. Well, I'm stupid. Uh, anyways, let's go turn in the main quest. I'm sorry that that took so long. I just... It's a good game, so I got distracted. But let's see what Mademoiselle has to say. Boa! Welcome back, hero. I sense that the presence of the demon Idra had vanished. You truly defeated them, didn't you? Now the villagers won't be taken anymore. I'm so relieved. Thank you, brave hero. But Camilla and the other demon kings are still out there, so we can't let our guard down. Oh, you're already heading out to face the next demon king. I see. Well, that's kind of rude. I really wanted the hero to rest here a bit longer, but I guess it can't be helped. Next, it might be a good idea to head to the western jungle in the northern lands. There's a teleport gate that will take you there. I'll use my power to send you to the teleport gate. So activate it with your heroic strength. Are you ready to go? Yeah. 
Let's check it out. I didn't know we'd be actually checking out the next island. Oh, it's on a floating island too. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. That horse just committed a uh, cliff jump. <laughs> Teleport to the western forest. Absolutely do. Yes, please. I want to see the new biome. I'm excited. Whoa. It's all like completely thematically different, dude. That's so dope. Usually like biome changes. I'm used to Trover. It's just a different color swap, not a completely different theme. Please lend us your help in the dense forest jungle. A manticore who had previously raided villages multiple times is now visiting each village in an attempt to establish peace. However, it seems suspicious and I can't help but feel it's some kind of trap. Could you please uncover the truth? Seems that the Manticore has arrived at the village. I've marked the village on your map. Could you go and check it out? Bossy. Ooh, it's beautiful. Oh my god, look at those trees. Dude, this is like Hightail. It looks so good already. What the heck? Okay. Uh, let's check what she has to say. Really quick, I want to see what she's selling. What's she selling over here? An Atom Axe. That sounds cool. I gotta get it. I'm not, I don't care. It seems uh, effective against material-based monsters like golems and killer knives due to its special shock waves. Retain characteristics, uh, guard penetration of the axe, crush monsters like skull warriors who keep guarding you. Yeah. You've sold me. Completely. Okay, let's see here. Woo! Okay, um, it releases a special shockwave inflicting great damage to the material tribe. Material killer. So I guess that's gonna be really good for enemies out here. Oh my god, it's like a beast axe or something. And I guess that's the shockwaves? Kinda thought all the axes already did that? Yeah, they all do the effect of the shockwave on the ground. Either way, that's a really powerful weapon too. Okay! That's gonna do it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have this on the map, though? Yes, we most certainly do. Thanks so much for watching. Smash like stuff for more. Buy the merch you want. Support the channel. And have a wonderful day.